Okay, I finally learned from that bullshit. Anyway. Let's try... In this new episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Let's try dealing with Triangle Island properly now. I'm not going to change my equipment. I'm just going to explore it without the stupidity. Straight off the bat, he engulfs one of us. That's good. Alright, that took long enough. Now we're exactly where we need to be. Watch your music get all whimsical now. That's Final Fantasy VI for you. Ether. Oh, I can cast life now? Oh, no. Life shaver. Since a lot of these guys are undead, I might as well finish them off the easy way. Not all of them are, though. As you've seen in last parts, if you've seen that. Why the hell did I do all that? Loss of coordination. Where will you be when you have it? I thought gaming was supposed to improve your reflexes and hand-eye coordination. Obviously, the people that formulated that theory never met me.
Well, let's take out these guys with that spell. Ironically, life is the most useful spell when it comes to taking out these kind of assholes. It's not very good when it comes to resurrecting people. Because they come back in a really weakened state and they're usually immediately targeted. The difficulty in this game can be a bit unfair. But it's kind of realistic that way. Remedy. Skills. Okay, now attempt to cross the bridge. Okay, fake mustache. Glad I did that correctly. Now let's get it. We're not going to... We're not going to have a boss here, I believe. The challenge here isn't the boss. That's not why the save point is there. The save point is there because if you get crushed by the ceiling, that's an automatic game over. Am I dead now? Yep. <laughs> Don't play that sad ass music when you die that way. What I don't like about this is that after you fall, there's kind of like a... Well, let's see this way. We narrowly avoided death. How about here? Just seeing all the possibilities at the moment. You need sprint boots for this kind of shit. That would be a challenge trying to do this without them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Narrowly avoided that. Tax star, do we die now? Yeah, I should have stuck to my guns.
Okay. So far, I'm doing better than the first two times. I'm getting comfortable with this. Why Mage Serena made this? Why Mage Serena made this look so easy? I messed up in the same part, but in a different way. It'd be embarrassing if I messed up the first time. Okay, let's go. Let's stop all that bullshit and go through the shortcuts. If I have complications through that, then it's over for me, man. If I didn't take that one step, I would have been dead. Yep, that's right. These are just obstacles. Oh, that one's too steep. What a whiny bitch. All right. It's pretty good. Okay, Edgar's out of the scene. Let's talk to this guy. Is this a man, a woman, or should we ask? Go, go. Master of the simulacrum. In other words, the similar. So, he's a mimer, a copycat. Now, this character seems totally rushed. That's weird. Maybe we basically tell him the, the story so far, and he's like, yeah, that, that's some interesting shit. I'm curious how things will play out anyway. Okay. See if the thunder shield is more effective. I forgot to equip the force armor. I did it last episode, but then I got clapped and I wasn't able to save that progress. I also learned that there was a bias for ice. Now I know there's a bias for thunder in terms of defense. Like flame. 211. Ice, 212.
Thunder 213. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's get out of here. Blitz. We out. Skills, cure. So I wonder where we go next. Figaro Castle. Well, we're about to consult the map. Hopefully, Figaro Castle is still where it ideally is. Not because of the world of ruin, but because you can move Figaro Castle to the outer desert. Where else can Figaro Castle be? Here. It can also be here. Okay, so you can't land it on sand or mountains or actual places. At least it isn't too frugal, unlike most JRPGs. The world map has it so that landing on places is convenient. Stop and explore. Head to the jail and go through the hole in the wall behind far cell. Is this the jail? The Garo Castle will be weird sometimes. Okay, this is what he meant. Okay, one of them will be a Master Pugs. Does he tell us anything about that Master Pugs? I guess that's part of another... I guess he has that in his FAQ somewhere else. Hey, we get to see my bro Odin. We already got Fenrir. We already got the nigga that clapped you. So he has Reflect equipped. I think Chainsaw can automatically kill him.
There's something I don't get about the way his sword techniques work. Not sure what I'm missing, but yeah. Winged Edge skills. We got plenty of tinctures in the cut, thankfully speaking. Speaking thankfully. These things look totally Silent Hill. Yeah, that's where I'm using Silent Hill as an adjective. Because you know what that would look like if you know Silent Hill. And you can't be a gaming fan if you don't know what Silent Hill is. A gamer. If you don't know what Silent Hill is. Like, you should have your shit revoked. No, that looks tough. That might not actually be any good, but that looks tough. Doom darts. Hey, these guys have like fifty hundred status ailment techniques. Remedy. I mean, Blitz is powerful, but it's so complicated to use. By complicated, I mean problematic. Someone have a remedy? You're saying... Heal them. In fact, yeah, start healing people. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. This game is trying its hardest to waste our time. Okay, preemptive attack. I'm going to chainsaw him. That'll remove him from the equation. Damn, Celeste. I 
I like how Celeste is our most consistent person, yet we keep overshadowing her. With people like Edgar, Sabin, now even Cyan. Wait till there's a boss fight and the female mages come in handy the most. Then things will turn for the better. Master Pug. So it's like a Tonberry. This thing hits with the counters. Wall change, what are you, Magus? Oh shit, we can. I forgot. Whatever, he's gone. I forget to unequip Sabin with Reflect. I should probably get started with that right now. I love these monster in a box fights. Checks against counters fewer random enemies. So it's like the Mog thing, except not as extreme. Side attack. These are usually easy to avoid. That's what I like. Chainsaw. Sword technique. Yo.
Thank you for the package. Thank you for the package. Yeah. Um, question. Yeah. You have a key so I can go get the mail. Yeah. I'm making coconut rice for the first time. Sweet. I actually, since I already, I bought uh, jasmine rice, which is like Thai rice. I already had coconut oil, so I used that to keep it like same flavor. I bought coconut milk and... I bought shredded coconut, so I'm gonna put the shredded coconut on top at the end. All right. Like I said, these are easy to avoid. Anyway, so dinner plans looking. I eat. Exposition. So where is the save point? Everyone's stats are looking ragged. Yo. I don't think you guys get it. We don't have fun fighting you. It's not that you're challenging, you're not. It's just, uh, it's a dub. All right, managed to get to the save point. What is this? So this is a glimpse of the distant pass. Okay, so that's what happened to this place. Adam Edge. That's the name. <laughs> that's the username of the person who came up with this FAQ. Uh, 
Okay, so that's kind of dorky, but yeah. Odin is badass. Damn, that ghost is badass. He was took a Adam Edge and turned Odin into a magicite. Great sorcerer. That just looked like another ghost. Uh. Bounce. Skills, magic, cure. How about these doors behind him? Okay, so when I was reading this, I was just ahead. Now... Queen's Diary, alright? So let's examine this shit first. I don't think we actually fight Odin. It's not like Final Fantasy 4 or 5. Edelons aren't as cool as Esper's. They don't want you to do that Pokemon bullshit. We're getting decked by a boss. Cold dust. Badass. I hear a dork's voice in the distance. Yo. Okay. For a second, I thought he was gonna fuck saving up. I would have been pissed. But her? Yeah, that, that ain't that bad. Not this shit again. Guys, get out of there.
skills here skills Hmm. Head up before going into castle, go to the Come on. How many of these have I've been running the past few Let's Plays? Isn't this game going to recognize by now? Okay, well. Yeah, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Hold up, let's get out of here. Nope, let's get out. Alright, until next time.